Hello, I'm Vadim, and I'm an IT specialist here at Nagios. Today, I'll be showing you how to transfer Nagios XI from Cent7 to Cent9. This tutorial is specifically for versions 5.11.3 and older. This will not work for any new versions of XI 2024 and newer. Quick disclaimer before we begin, when changing OS families, it is very important to save and backup all your files before moving anything. Nagios is not responsible for any data loss when making such a large change. With that said, let's get started. There are two methods of backing up files. The first method is using the XI interface. The second method is to manually back up using the XI terminal. We will go through both methods in this video. For the first method, you'll need to log into XI and go to the admin page, which is located on the top. Then go to the bottom of the list on the left, where you will find local backup archives. Here you'll find a button to create a backup. When clicking it, you'll notice that it might take a few minutes to back up. Then press OK. When it does finish, you will see it populate in the list after refreshing the page. Now for the second method, let's go to the system where XI is running. You will have to log in with the credentials for that instance. In most cases, it's going to be a standard login of root as the username and the password being Nagios XI. This might be different depending on who initially set up XI. Now that we have the command line open, we will type in forward slash user slash local slash Nagios XI slash scripts slash backup underscore xi dot sh. Once you hit enter, this should start backing up Nagios xi. Once that is done, you will get a message saying backup complete. It will give you the location of where the file is located. In my case, it's forward slash store, forward slash backups, forward slash Nagios xi, then some numbers dot tar dot gz. You could find this file in local backup archives in XI when you reload the page. Make sure to export these files off of XI and store locally on another machine or NAS for safekeeping. If you have an ESXi or VMware instance of XI, you could create snapshots to revert back to it just in case XI breaks. Now let's launch a new CentOS 9. Once we have it up and running, we will need to install the same version of Nagios XI on the new CentOS 9. We start by changing our directory to TMP, then type in wget https colon forward slash forward slash assets.nagios.com forward slash downloads slash nagiosxi slash five slash xi underscore five dot eleven dot zero dot tar dot gz. This is the version that I'm currently on. Make sure to match the current version number to what you're downloading. After that, run the command tar space xzf space xi your version number in my case it's going to be 5.11.0.tar.gz then click enter then we want to change directories to nagios xi then we want to run the command dot forward slash full install this might take some time to install so i'll come back when it's done now that we have XI installed on our new CentOS 9 box, we want to SSH into this new box. Then we need to transfer the tar.gz file that we previously downloaded into your new CentOS 9. In our case, we are going to use FileZilla to SSH into the CentOS 9 box. And we have to put this file in the folder that's located in forward slash store slash backups slash Nagios XI. Once we have transferred the file, we want to type in the command 
slash users slash local slash Nagios XI slash scripts slash restore underscore XI dot SH space and where we put the file location, which would be forward slash store slash backups slash Nagios XI, then the string of numbers dot tar dot GZ. Once you click enter, this should start restoring XI. After the restoration is complete, you might need to run a repair script. So we'll change directories back to TMP. We'll type in wget https colon forward slash forward slash assets.nagios.com slash downloads slash Nagios XI slash scripts slash restore underscore repair dot sh. The next command will be chmod plus x space restore underscore repair dot sh. Then we want to run the restore repair command. So we type in dot slash restore underscore repair dot sh. This will repair any broken connections with the hosts and the services. Now we want to verify that XI is working. So we will go through some hosts and services and make sure everything is good. And as we see here, everything is good to go. Make sure that everything on the migrated XI is exactly where it should be. If you have any issues upgrading, make sure to revert back to your backups. If you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out our YouTube channel for more helpful content, and I'll see you in the next one.